Welcome back. Um, so we're going to be going over the aftermath of Cyclone Freddy. Um, the death toll sadly has surpassed 500. Um, and yeah, Cyclone Freddy was definitely the longest in recorded history. It lasted about five weeks. So yeah, five weeks at Freddy's basically. Um, but yeah, the death toll in Southeast Africa due to the unexpectedly long-lasting tropical cyclone Freddy has risen to 522, according to the authorities in Mozambique, Madagascar, and Malawi. Disaster management authorities in Malawi, which has been hit hardest by the cyclone, reported on Saturday that the death toll there has risen to 438. Malawi's president, Lazarus uh, Chakwira declared a 14-day national mourning period on Thursday. There are hundreds of evacuation centers set up across the country for survivors, with tens of thousands in Malawi left homeless and approximately 345,000 people affected by the heavy rains, floods, and mudslide, uh, landslides. Um, the cyclone left a trail of devastation in southeast Mozambique, Neighboring Mozambique, no, Southeast A Africa, neighboring Mozambique, and the island nation of Madagascar have also been affected. In Mozambique, at least 67 people died, according to President Felipe Niusi, with 50,000 more displaced. It is expected that the death toll in both nations will continue to climb. I hope that isn't the case, but it's likely. At least 17 people were killed in the island nation of Madagascar. Cyclone Freddy dissipated over land late Wednesday after it made a second landfall in Mozambique and in Malawi over the weekend and caused mass devastation in several uh, several reg uh, regions, including Malawi's financial capital, uh, Blantyre. It was a Blantyre. Anyways, reporting from... Makanga, an island in Malawi. Al Jazeera's uh, Famida Miller said that while rescues, well, rescue services were continuing, they have been slow to transport people from flooded islands to the mainland. So far, they, the police services, have reached about 1,300 people, but hundreds are w more are waiting. They have had to seek refuge in trees, their homes have been washed away, and they also don't have any food, said Miller. It will be at, certainly that at least a few more days before dig, a bigger dent is made in terms of rescuing people in places like this, which have been very difficult to reach up until now, she added. Freddie first made landfall in February 21st in Madagascar. From there, the storm moved on to Mozambique then back across the Indian Ocean on March 11th. It reached Mozambique for a second time and then moved on to Malawi. A lot of areas are inaccessible, restricting movement of assessment, and humanitarian teams are life -saving and life-saving supplies, said Paul Turnbull, the World Food Program's director in Malawi. The true extent of the damage will only be revealed once assessments have been concluded. Both nations were already facing a cholera outbreak before the cyclone hit, and there are fears that the flooding and could worsen the spread of waterborne diseases. Mozambique was also dealing with Freddy's first battering and floods earlier in the year. Scientists say human-caused climate change has worsened ac cyclone activity, making them wetter, more intense, and more frequent, and I guess longer-lasting. Cyclone Freddy has ravaged southern Africa since late February when it pummeled Mozambique, Madagascar, and Reunion. It then looped back on the main to the mainland after re-strength regaining strength over the Mozambique Channel. The WMO has convened an expert panel to determine whether Cyclone Freddy has broken the record for longest ever cyclone in recorded history. Southern Africa is currently in cyclone season, which can bring 
rain and severe storms until March or April. It is currently March, so we guess we could see possibly more going into May. Um, but with the La Nina out of the picture, that could help deter future cyclones from forming, especially the sooner the El Nino kicks in. Um, but outside of that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.